What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, telling like a TI is once again, like always. Well, I wanted to talk about Kanye West and his, his uh, dumbass act that he's trying to pull. And one thing is, like, he's, I, everybody knows he's from Atlanta, Georgia. Like, okay, cool. So he's from the south. From the south. It's like, okay. And he goes on a well, TV, uh, TV show. No, a radio show talking about he's claiming the rebel flag now. Everybody know the rebel flag. This is the rebel flag right here. Now that flag used to mean the South should rise again, the pride, the pride and respect of Southern folks. And then years down the line, the flag was taken, not taken, but the flag was used for hate crimes. And it was used for hate. It was used for discrimination against uh, other minorities because the KKU, the KKK, used this flag for uh, used this flag to represent them. Like I can understand him being from the South. He's being proud of that flag because if any minority that's been born and raised in the South, that flag doesn't mean jack shit to you. But it's just a flag to you. I can understand that. I'm cool with it. Because I've actually for me to be in a bi biracial man or some people say black man, I have no problems with that flag. I don't have no problems with this flag. The reason why is I don't have a problem with this flag is because I was born and raised in the South. I know the history of this flag. It really didn't mean nothing, but for the southern states, same with Texas, Tennessee, Georgia, Florida, so Mississippi, California. I mean, not California, but North Carolina, South Carolina, so probably Virginia too, and it rep represents the southern states. It doesn't represent California, Trace Atkins. Pull the dick out your ass. You're not a southern, southerner. You're from fucking California. That's bullshit. You pass trying to be big and bad and think, trying to say you from south. Fucker, you from California. Trey said, mm, "Kiss my ass." But and that's how it is. I don't mind. It's like, yeah, this this flag represent where I'm from, the South. I could understand that to have that in your house. A black person having that in his house if he's from the South. I can understand because it shows that you're a southern person a southern folk well down here they say southern folk if it was if it was Kim Kardashian representing this people gonna think cause she's nowhere near from down the south but she's from upstate and people gonna think she's a racist but I think like this man I think it's like this. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, don't you can't claim a flag, dude. That's retarded. You can claim where you're from, but you can't claim a flag. That's kind of stupid. But hey, if you want to claim a flag, that's his business. But I want to go on national TV or national radio trying to claim something. You can claim your daughter. He can claim his daughter on his taxes, but <laughs> and Kim after he gets married to her. But I sit up here and I and I I sit up here and I think about it. I was like, I'm cool with him saying representing his, representing his uh, representing his state and the flag. But I wouldn't be sitting up if you're living in a northern state. I wouldn't be putting that flag in my house because. You gotta remember when you living in Chicago, New York, or somewhere up there, or Washington, other black people might take offense to the flag in your house. They might take offense to the flag in your house. They actually got my ass. Uh, what was it? I I went on there. Uh, Second Life. Everybody knows I go on Second Life. And the guy, one of my friends, has the rebel flag. Uh, Confederate flag. We call it rebel flag or Confederate flag, but it's really called the Confederate flag because 
the Confederacy used it for war, like the South, North and South. Uh, uh, and my friend, she has this, uh, she had this theme up, and she had the Confederate flag up, and it really didn't bother me whatsoever, because <laughs> I said the flag is just a flag to me; it's not different. And this guy was questioning me about it. About it. He says, Afro Joe's, yeah, what's up? How do you feel about that Confederate flag over there? I got up. I say, like, well, it's just a flag to me because I'm from the South. It really doesn't bother me none. And he still, he said, he still was questioning me. He say, oh, you don't take offense to it. It's like, well, really, no. I'm not taking offense to it. And the guys from California, and I. And I'm sitting up there, and the guy keeps questioning about this flag. It's like, you should be offended by this flag. It's like, why should I? Oh, it stands for race, for hate and racism. I said, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It, it represents. It represents my pride, my southern pride. It doesn't mean hatred. It doesn't mean racism. It means my southern pride and I'm glad that Kanye West a brother from the south from Georgia is saying I'm representing my south my, my state a southern brother that's representing his uh, southern heritage because he's from the south and but and that's how it is but I, I'm kind of glad he did that but I'm I'm kind of glad that he's want to represent the flag but for one thing is you don't need to go on a radio station or no TV show to claim that. And if you're living up in a northern state, man, uh, I don't think you should be putting up in your house knowing that some black folks might get offended about that shit. Because they're going to think something wrong with you, dude, until you explain it to them. If you're a black person, explain to your friends why you got that in your house. Then they will understand where you're coming from. But I can't really diss him on the flag part. I really can't. But one thing is... I can diss his ass on is this him trying to make Kim Kardashian look like Beyonce like hold up motherfucker you can't make Kim Kardashian look like a black woman you really can't you cannot really make a this woman look like a black woman it's like saying I can make a dog into a cat that'd be kind of fucked up and bullshit You, and, and and that's when I found out that's, I'm, I'm sitting there looking at this dude that's like motherfucker do you know who you fucking with I said you mess around with a lady that's gonna use you for your money I love this woman like did you see what she did to that last dude she was with did you see what she did with Ray J and you wanted to marry this woman don't sit up here and say oh the past is the past no 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 sometimes your past can catch up to you Sometimes your past can catch up to you and bite you in your ass. And I look at it like this, though. Like, Kim Kardashian, she's pretty. But laying down with her and making a child is like the worst thing you can do in life. I'd rather, I'd rather sell drugs or pimp out women than date Kim Kardashian. Because I don't want my rep. I don't want my feminine to worry. I don't want people to judge me because I'm dating this woman. And that's what's really being looked at. That she's dating this woman. And it's, you got to remember, she's all about money. She don't care about fucking love. She cared about love, man. She would never did that basketball player wrong. Marrying him on the Keeping Up With The Kardashian. Then a few months later, her, one of her entourage actually comes out and say, Oh, it was planned. They went up to... Yeah, like you look... Uh, like I did a video about this about the Kim Kardashian's wedding but but for real you really trying to make Kim Kardashian look like Beyonce and you trying to outbeat Jay Z I was like dude you know how much money you know how much money Jay Z got you know how much how much pull he's got 
how much pull he's got. I was like, I wasn't trying to stop it. Like, one thing is, dude, Jay-Z, your buddy, your best friend, and why would you, why would you try to outdo him? Much like this, though. That's a, that's, that was a cigarette I lit up. But, uh, but I'll tell you this, though. I wouldn't be trying to step up against certain people, man, in the industry. You know why? One thing is because it's the Illuminati. Second thing is it's a mafia thing. Third thing is I don't want to die. And that's how it is. Jay-Z's got a lot of money. He's got a lot of money. He's got too much pool. Same with P. Diddy. Both of them men can actually make you disappear. Make you disappear. And for Kanye to trying to step up and say, I'ma outdo you and I'll be the best, they ain't gonna remember who you are, or what you what you did. They're gonna remember me, Kanye is number one. But uh and that's how it is, man. You can't sit there and say, I'ma outdo Jay Z. Mm -hmm. I'ma outdo Jay Z. Can't say that. Because Jay Z is on top of the world where he's producing, where he can actually make you or break you. He can make you and end your life if you try to step. Like everybody knows. Everybody knows. Start looking up some Illuminati videos. Start looking up that Illuminati shit and tell me that I ain't wrong. That Illuminati shit is real. But basically, like I said, uh, if I was in the industry like they was, you think my black ass is going to try to step up to JC and make my woman try to be like Beyonce? Fuck no. I ain't trying to get killed. Y'all know that. You know what they say. You know that, like I said, the mafia run shit. Mm -hmm. JC is like a boss. Top dog. When he snaps his finger, he can kill you. And nobody will ever know. That's how it is in the business. It's that Illuminati shit. But you can call me crazy all you fucking want, but you gotta agree with me on this that he's trying to make Kim Kardashian, Kim, Car uh, Kim Kardashian look like uh, Kim, trying to make Kim Kardashian look like Beyonce. That's gonna be kind of hard to do, motherfucker. It's like making a cat into a dog. You know, it wouldn't work. And that's how I see it. That's how I see it, man, on that part. That, but, but it is what it is, man. But this has been Afrojo T like T I E once again. Follow me on Twitter, Afrojo the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. Uh. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. And I want to know what you think. Don't sit there and call me crazy motherfuckers. I want to know what you think on the issue. Not me. Because this video is not about me. It's about these people. This flash in the frame. As well, it's about, yeah, two people in the flag. Tell me what you think about it. A man is claiming his southern hospitality heritage. And trying to outdo Jay Z. That's a fucked up thing. Like I said, tell tell me what you think about the issue, not me. I'm trying to get motherfuckers leaving comments saying, motherfucker, you funny as hell, you dumb as shit. No, I ain't talking about myself. I'm talking about the issue. If I did a story about five kids getting killed by one man, why would you write, oh, the narrator is so, so fucking retarded? But I just. It's not about me. It's about this man killing five fucking kids. But that's how it is. But just tell me what y'all think about. Think about what I'm talking about. Do you think Kanye West lost his fucking mind because he's trying to make uh, Kim Kardashian look like Beyonce? Or do you think uh, he was kind of wrong for trying to wear the Confederate flag in a northern state? What you think? Because me, I kind of think it's the Illuminati creeping in. Because, you know, he got his hand in the Illuminati uh, cooking jar. So, 
Like I said, tell me what you think. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. And tell me what you think about the issue, not about me. But peace, love, and Afro-Grease.